Hello everyone, I'm here to tell you about a new series of videos I'm going to be releasing called Head Start to A-Level Chemistry. These are going to be designed to give you a refresher and a foundation about the really important content from GCSE, which chances are you've already started to forget as soon as those exams were over. And they're also going to be designed to give you a flavour of what A-Level Chemistry content is actually going to be like. I'll release a new video every week on Mondays, and that's going to end up being a minimum of eight videos in total across the summer. But if I get any additional ideas or requests, I'll endeavour to add to the playlist as the time goes on, and this will end up hopefully being a really useful playlist that you can keep dipping into across the summer before your A-levels start. My intention in making this series of videos is to help you to prepare for studying A-level chemistry. So why are these videos necessary? Well, I think there are two main reasons. Firstly, the chances are you've recently finished your GCSEs, you've chilled out, you've unwound, you've inevitably forgotten things, and so you will need a refresher to get yourself back up to speed. And then secondly and simply, A-level chemistry can be tough at times, and so in order to prepare yourself for those challenges, it's important to have a solid foundation upon which you can build. And on top of that, what I want to do is give you a little taste of the A-level content that you need to know so you can get excited about what it is that's new that you're going to be learning over the next two years. Obviously, the A-level content is more challenging than at GCSE level because it is literally next level studying. But as significant is the way that you're expected to think about chemistry at A-level. And the ability to think creatively comes with confidence and a solid foundation in the core content that you need to be talking about when you're answering questions. And that's where I think my Head Start videos come in. If you have a solid foundation, you can get to grips with the style of question much more easily. And I'm really hoping that these videos will allow you to bridge that gap between GCSE chemistry and A-level chemistry. There's obviously more to A-level chemistry than will be covered by these videos, but this will give you a great start to your A-level studies. I do want to be absolutely clear though, even though I've said that chemistry A-level is challenging, it is absolutely an amazing subject to study. You develop so many transferable skills, it is really exciting, and there are so many careers that chemistry is essential for and desirable for that it really is such a beneficial A-level to take. Something that I'm often asked by Year 12 students early on in the course was, was I told the truth at GCSE level? Am I about to be told something different that contradicts what I'd learned previously? And I'm going to start by saying, no, that's absolutely not a fair point to say. However, it is fair to say that you weren't told the whole picture at GCSE level. Part of the fascination of A-level chemistry is actually you start to see things more clearly than you did at GCSE level. It's like having a low resolution picture and it suddenly becomes clear. If you take a look here, you might see this smudge in the middle of the screen and it looks like a dot or a section of dots. However, if we start to zoom in, we actually see more and more dots appearing. It's not just one dot, it's lots of dots. In fact, it looks like there's lots of different coloured dots, and that really is what I'm talking about here. The difference is one of being able to see the picture much more clearly than we could at GCSE level. We can see it with a higher resolution. It isn't that we were told the wrong thing, it's just that now we can see the picture more clearly because of extra information or new ways of interpreting the information. Here's a quick look at all the different episodes I'm hoping to produce for this series. You can see that there are eight at the top. These are my initial plan for what would be really beneficial for everybody to get up to speed with. But I've also got a section at the bottom of four chapters that I think are really important that people who did triple chemistry got the full focus of, that people who didn't take triple chemistry will have missed out on these sections to an extent. And so I will try and produce videos about these as well to help everybody get up to speed and make sure that nobody's missed out as a result of not taking triple chemistry. Having watched these videos, it might be that you can't wait to start A-level chemistry and you want to start learning it now, in which case you could check out some of my extra explanation videos which are aimed at Year 12 chemists. Or you might have found this refresher a bit challenging and you might want to slow down the pace 
and go through some of the GCSE content in more detail, in which case you could check out some of my explanation videos for GCSE chemistry instead. Either way, the links to these relevant videos will be in the description for all of my Head Start content. Okay, that's the end of this video. Well done for choosing to study A-level chemistry. It's going to open up a whole world of opportunities and it's going to be loads of fun.